Humidity control is the secret weapon for better yields and healthier plants. In this video, I'll show you how to fine tune your grow environment for explosive growth. But first, check out some badass grow gear. As the kids say, let's go, let's go, baby. ACinfinity.com, now that I got your attention, new AI powered controller, dynamic level adjusting for all your devices, dual zone VPD, temperature, humidity, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi control, 32 devices if you'd like. So you advanced growers that you're wanting to control every parameter of your grow. This is for you. You know that matters in the end dank game to bring the harvest. And don't be intimidated, beginner growers. You can put this bad boy right in beginner mode for real. It'll dynamically learn and help you along the way for your entire grow for success. So check out this bad boy coupon code dude grows at acinfinity.com up your grow game. All right, let's do this, Scotty. Let's talk about your grow space, your humidity, which is a huge factor in the grow, can make your plants get nasty, moldy flowers, can make them perform too much, too little. Let's talk about it. Come on, do I say VPD? You're going to roll your eyes, man? Inside joke, but VPD is just a combination of temperature and humidity. Uh, we do pay a lot of attention to temperature, uh, but e equally as important is humidity when it comes to growing really high quality cannabis. You got to consider your grow environment, not the environment necessarily always that's inside of your grow, your tent, your grow room, but where those places are. Um, you know, you're in Colorado right now. If your tent is sitting in a heated house in Colorado, the humidity is probably 20% replacement. Yep. Take yep. these whole room considerations in, right? Uh, absolutely, man. You, you said lung room, right? And that's the the room that your tent or that your grow is, I guess your tent would be sitting in. And yeah, you got to consider, is it, you know, you have yours in your garage, right? So it's pulling your know, British Columbia in your garage is pulling moist air through there, right? Well, that's why we, that's the next consideration. If you have a grow space in a garage or if let's say, you know, my air I'd be taking in would be really cold or really humid. That's not advantageous for me to control my humidity setting. So I go with a sealed right. grow environment, all the equipment. I don't have any air exchange with the outside air. Same choice might be made with a grow tent at a really dry Colorado house. If you're constantly, it's getting too dry when it's pulling that air back in. That's some reasons why people say, screw that. I'm going to be mother nature. I'm growing sealed environment, no air exchange. It's just a sealed, no air exchange you're talking. So then uh, unsealed environment, you're just pulling air from the lung room, the outside room through the tent and then out the uh, out the vents for a sealed room. You're not exhausting any of that air. You are conditioning that air with a dehumidifier and uh, an air conditioner. Correct. You're going to need some environmental controls in there. Yep. And different controls at different times. Let's talk a little bit about managing it. I mean, plants obviously put off humidity. Uh, it depends on what containers, living soil beds can put off more fabric pots, air pruning pots. In my experiences, put off a little more humidity with letting the roots breathe. Early veg, you know, different points here, Scotty, because in early veg, I usually I need to add some humidity at times. When your plants are smaller, you don't have a whole bunch of media. They're out of the clone dome. That's a little bit of a higher humidity set point. I'm going to give you sometimes there for a short period, maybe the 10 days to two weeks where you're acclimating to a grow environment. I might be 65 low 70% humidity for that short early veg time is what I'm calling it. Now, mid veg, that's going to change. I got to tell you, wow, you're, you're right. Uh, you're right in line with the VPD charge. Yeah. It starts out really high humidity during clone and then it lowers a little bit during veg and then a little bit more during flower. Grandpa, are you really getting a VPD chart that quickly, man? You're amazing, sir. But they're different for veg and flower. And as you get these bigger buds, you got to worry more about um, more about uh, uh, humidity, making bud molds and whatnot. And it also affects the terpenes. That, that is huge. I am in an area where bud mold is prevalent. I've gotten it numerous times. And I have realized in my own error that once I get into, when I have developed flowers a month in, 45 days in, especially towards late veg, or sorry, bloom, I'm bringing that humidity way down, 50%, 45%, depending. It could go as low as 40. I would not go below that. Maybe in the latest, latest stages of flowering, but really important you watch that. And don't forget about it at night. Nighttime, too. Sometimes growers will forget about it at night. Humidity can spike at night. So you want to have proper controls. Agreed, sir. What are those proper talk controls, about, dude? Let's talk about All right. So if you're doing... The biggest, uh, if you decide you need to grow in a sealed environment, you need to have a little bit of a budget. You are going to have to buy, you know, a dehumidifier, 
probably an air conditioner. And those are your two tools for controlling the environment. Uh, if you're growing in an air exchange environment where your tent's sitting in your grow house, um, in your house, that or your grow house, that'd be dope. Um, you can buy one piece of equipment, fairly affordable, you know, an inline fan that is controlled, hooked up to a controller that says, Hey, right. if it gets to this humidity set point, blow it out of here. And then the lower rents bring in the air from your house. So you just got to make sure that that air is close to the proper set point for you. Yeah. From your air conditioned house, you'll probably be okay. Cause air conditioning uh, removes, that's why that condensate line there moves some, uh, removes some humidity. But if you're just in, you know, open windows in yep. British Columbia, man, consider your lung room. You always have to consider the environment in your lung room. And tip where you have a dehumidifier sitting in the room, not in your active grow environment where your tents are. Cause you're right. Like my humidity with my, I don't have air conditioning here in the summer in the house can easily be 80% plus. Um, so yeah, good point. I've seen it up to plus 90%. Like when am I just going to be drinking water? There's a rainforest, though. It's, it's going to rain inside your house. You know you're in trouble. You don't have air conditioning? Dude, you are crunchy, man. You are crunchy. One more one more tip on those ACs for you guys. Uh, if you have a built grow room, it sometimes it can be cost uh, affordable to use a window unit that you cut in if you're handy and you have that option. But if you're buying the portable ACs, you get a dual hose AC. That's what I actually use in my grow room. Um, it does not use any air from in the room to cool the motor in the unit and blow it back out of your room. So you keep all your CO2 enriched air. You keep the environment parameters that you want. So make sure you're not getting one of those single hose AC units. They look they look appealing because they're a bit cheaper. Yep. No, nah, but yeah, think about it. Because the great thing about a sealed room is you get to run CO2 if you want. But if you're constantly co cooling that compressor because it's pulling air uh, through that compressor and out of the room, it's not effective for CO2 or for containing smell. So yeah, dual hose AC is huge. And dude, I used to recommend the window units until another grower said to me, uh, what a security risk it is. As far as it is so easy just to go push that window unit through. And climb, you know, if, if somebody wanted to break in and climb through there. Yeah. So just consider that. Yeah. It's facing outside. Yeah. Both my window units were used. One was used in a basement and one my was used in a garage. So it was secure. And that is about it. Don't forget, though, guys, humidity is just as important in temp. These guys, these, these dance together. The VPD yep. terms make it sound fancy. And you have yep. them both in correlation with each other. Your plants are going to be happy. You're going to have a lot less problems and way more performance. Yes. And remember, there is VBD, different VBD charts for uh, clones, veg and flowering. They are somewhat different. So uh, make sure Pulse Grow. Those, those are our friends over there. They got great VBD charts over there. Yelling into your phone. What's your grow style? Are you like me? I want to be Mother Nature. I got everything sealed up. I'm enriching the CO2 dehumidifying, got the AC going. Uh, or you just got a tent set up in your, your house. You know, what's your grow style? Let us know in the comments below. Yes. And don't forget, man, if you like this video, don't only comment, but hit that like button, man. Smash the subscribe button and talk about this one with another grow, you know, sealed or unsealed, man.